the hand thing. No, no, do the hand thing. Oh. No, the hand. Oh, oh, oh the hand. Hand. Oh, hand. Oh, hand. The camera. Oh, the hand. Oh, the hand. No. Oh. Oh. Chat season four. I am mm. Rudy Samuel. Hey guys, my name is Iget. Hi, I'm Leonie. I'm Hugo. Hugo boss. <laughs> Bendo here, everybody. Uh, guys, okay. Uh, what do you know? uh I'm Samuel Young, the bugger, the two the bugger, some talika papa, and bam, moon, no, 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 is drum roll please <laughs> has marriage lost its spark in society today ah, let's start sure. with simple yes or no before it's finished yes or no i can't say yes or no you depends have, uh, chief no depends simple, on yes what? or no uh <laughs> yes yes okay then docs yes nope yes yes nope I don't even know why I'm saying no. You Me guys too. need to explain this to okay. me first. I'm just you saying fight. no because everyone's saying yes. Yeah, so yeah, I just yeah, want yeah. to fight. Okay, well. Bendo, yeah, why, are yes. what are no, why are you saying yes? No, let's see. What does Bendo say? Why are you saying yes, Bendo? Well, because I feel like, well, I think love is being overrated yeah. in this generation. That I can say yes. Uh, love is yes. overrated? Yes. <laughs> How? It's not as it was before. It's not as genuine as it was before. People are more into... I'm with someone, then I'm with um, my one, if that makes sense. Do you still believe? Do you still believe in the one and my soul? So amazing. And my, you know, yeah, I you believe are. that there's five percent of them left in the world. Yes. Sure. Like yeah. me, guys. Nice. Really, Hugo? Do you believe in soulmates? Uh, do you believe that there's that one person who is for you? I used to. I used to believe that, but in 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 actual fact. You can make, you can be comfortable with someone. They don't have to be your soulmate. Mm. Mm. If you choose a partner, you're choosing somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Mm -hmm. And they're not necessarily your soulmate. The soulmate can be a best friend, you know that. But they don't necessarily have to have a romantic relationship with you. That's my thoughts. Whoa, guys, let's not go far. <laughs> Has marriage lost its place in society? I say yes. I, you know why? Because back in the day growing up, certain things you could not do because it was what reserved for marriage. Um, something as small as moving in together with your partner before marriage mm. that stuff used to be left yeah. for marriage now mm -hmm. everybody is more and more comfortable with the thought of living with a person yeah. before you know they, they, they shack up or they shacking whatever it's called mm -hmm. and certain things that were for marriage anybody can do it now and it's lost for me it's lost the spark because you know you were supposed to experience everything with your one partner for life but now you're doing it already before marriage so people are like what's the point of getting married mm. if i can just live in with my person i feel like it's i say it's lost its place in society because like really said now it's a thing of marriage is the last thing that couples think of after everything after the moving in after the children after the getting a house together applying for a bond together then they're like you know now we're thinking about marriage i'm like you haven't really been together mm. for like as long as i've been alive yeah, like people are like, like why must I rush to get yeah, married like if it's, it's not we're ready a, together? It's not special anymore. Mm, yeah. It's become cheap. Mm, yeah, exactly. It's become it's become so like not affordable, but it's so it's so there. Like it's quick ordinary. to get. Yeah, it's it's no more yeah. extraordinary. It's ordinary. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not even ordinary. Like people would are okay with like you know being with somebody for the rest of their lives and not being married to them. Mm. Yes, it's easier. <laughs> really, guys, it's, yeah. the tradition has. Yeah, where have you been? But what world do you live Wait, in? Wait, why are you saying? I feel like are you no, I, as I if you've never heard of this. <laughs> I've heard of that, but um, personally, I'm surrounded by people who are scared to get married because of all the responsibilities, all the, you know, I'm not surrounded by people who think of marriage last. You know, like the people around me, especially the men around me, they're all scared because of the fact that marriage it's it's a huge thing, you know. So. No, and know, also why know. it's lost its spark is that marriage is no longer the forever it's the wedding day yeah, yeah. that's where the pressure yeah. will come in oh, you know you want to provide as, as a guy you want to provide everything for your woman you know yeah. you want to get her the best dress the best ring the best hair the best shoes best makeup best yeah. 
venue, biggest bridal party alive, you know, so it's the wedding there as well that can maybe make people say, you know what, whatever. And now if someone let's say wants to go sign papers at home affairs or go to court, they get labeled as boring. Why don't yeah. you want to have a proper yeah. wedding? Why don't you want to have a big wedding? So yeah. it's become so complicated today. Also, it's, it's also cheapened because the same way people jump from relationship to relationship, they jump from marriage to marriage because like yeah, divorce, divorce is a quick fix, a you thing, know? Yeah. The minute like you guys fight and then, you know. What do you mean? You, you think it's better to jump straight in the... No, 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 I'm saying like to go from marriage to marriage to marriage. So people get divorced and then they get remarried yeah. and then they divorced. Like, divorce. like I understand, I understand is that a bad like, thing, situations yeah. where you, you know, divorce is like your way out. But then now it's a thing of, you know how, um, this is what we're supposed to set marriage apart from like dating or something. Yeah. When you have a fight with somebody you're dating, saying, listen, I don't think this is going to work out anymore over, you know, let's call it a stupid fight mm -hmm. it's it's not that you know but now you divorce your first husband because um he didn't put the milk back in the fridge and then now you're married to this one and then you mm -hmm. divorce this one because of like you're divorcing people for this for reasons that reasons. you would break up with them yeah. you get me i like listening to people's opinions i think it's so sad the way we conform to what society yeah. what society depicts for us yeah me personally like when i think about marriage it's an end goal for me because of the of the example my parents have set. They've been married for 20, 29 years. Mm -hmm. No, sorry. They've been married for 30 years. And that's my whole sister's life. When I look at my older sister, I see an old woman. Sorry, Tracy, if you're watching this. Whoa. Like, subs subscribe. Listen, you're, you're old <laughs> yeah. and beautiful. We love yeah. you. Yeah. But for me personally, I, I, I said no because I feel like for me, myself, my own opinion is that it can't lose the spark if me myself i feel like there's still a spark when it comes to marriage and wedding mm. i i don't believe in you know society having a role in my thoughts my opinions it has it has i won't lie not let me, let me not say it doesn't have a role but it doesn't play ex, ex, significant, significant that word mm. uh, role in my choices and the choices i make like a big choice like marriage so me personally mm. i still believe that marriage Yo, it's my end goal right now i'm not ready right now i can say that i'm not even ready to be in a relationship but marriage it needs to be there yeah. it and has to also because our religion and our yeah what culture. we believe in our culture it's it's something that has been instilled in us to get married i don't say it's wrong i'm not saying because our culture said to do it maria you have to get married that you need to get married mm -hmm. but me personally for yeah. me what my culture and my religion has taught me i believe it to be so so yeah. yeah. To spot. to add to that, it's not everybody that grew up with parents who were married yeah. for that long or very loving in their marriage and you yeah. saw that growing up. So especially for those who didn't have that, I think it's even harder for them because they're like, Wow, what's my example? Yeah. The example can be because my parents didn't have that, I wanna have that. Yes. Or because my parents have that, I'm gonna have that, you know? Yeah. So it's it's difficult. I think the way someone grew up plays a, a huge role in, in, in their view for, yeah. for marriage. Like she said my parents have been married for 25 years this year 24 this year and i've only seen them ever love each other very well so that's what i know so when i go speak to someone about that who didn't have that it's like well i can't relate bro and it's it's difficult it really is difficult i never had that yeah. Yeah? i never had that your parents you didn't see your parents together for long yeah and has it like put a certain image, image about yeah. marriage to you yeah i change it in my mind once so you, I say I'm not going to get married. But now do you want to get married? Nope. I'm not ready. Right? Not no, no obviously, day, like in the future. I think, yeah, one day, maybe. When I'm gonna be fifty. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> with, the, with the thing of um the examples that you have like in front of you. Um, question. Isn't isn't it a thing to always try to be better than your parents or try to be better than the people who raise you? As in like you know how they always tell you you'll go where your parents mm -hmm. didn't? You'll get what yeah. your uncles didn't. Yeah. If if that's like the mindset that you have, then even if your parents have a shaky marriage, isn't your goal now from that thinking? But the thing is, is yeah, yeah, the thing is, it, people people react to situations differently. Mm -hmm. So if I was to say, because it happened to to my parents, if I was to say, okay, because my parents divorced, I need to make I need to make an effort to like stick to my marriage longer to like be better than my mom not, not that that's well yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the relationship they had somebody else will think ah man 
this person treated my mom like this and that whatever may have happened in the marriage at that time yeah. may have influenced the person to make the decision that they have made well, it could be negative it could be positive yeah it depends on how the situation like, let's is say your parents divorced and you stay with your mom it could be your mom telling you that listen yeah, marriage is actually marriage not is, even that yeah. great I mean, men are like this marry. men are like that and then that it changes your whole mindset of what marriage actually is and then you can even change your mind and be like nah yeah i don't want to get married i don't want to you know because yeah because of what um your mom is telling you or your aunt is telling you oh my god you know so sorry you're done yeah sorry um i agree with what everybody's saying and that's exactly why i said yes and to emphasize on that it's it's how society has normalized it you know exactly. that divorce is a thing it's okay uh, marriage is not that great anymore you can you move know, whenever you want with your serious. person you mean you, you how do you how do you know you're gonna cope with that person if you don't live with them now mm. that's a normalized thing mm. but people view it differently and it's also a thing of people now i think our generation has seen that and now we're taking a stride to first of all find ourselves First of all, be comfortable with ourselves so we don't have to depend on somebody. Mm -hmm. And secondly, find that spark again in marriage, which means don't get into a relationship just for just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get into it with good intentions. Okay, um, I have a question. Let's say you're in a, a serious relationship with someone and you're thinking about marriage, but that person doesn't believe in cohabiting. And cohabiting be being like living with someone, you know. Before but you're marriage. Trying to no, even in marriage. in marriage. They don't believe in living. So how am I not going to live with my wife when I'm married? You know there are people who, who, who don't believe in cohabiting. Yeah. Even so now... After I do. That means they're not even going to get to I do. So they don't believe in marriage. So, so you're the marriage. only one in the relationship that believes in marriage. Can you leave that person? That's yeah. that's why this, that's why communication is for... Like that's, you know, that's why I was saying... No. That's why I, I agree with, with what... Sorry. With yeah. what Hugo was saying, when when you get into a relationship, it needs to be like solid. So once you both decide on taking that step in the relationship that we, we're gonna be serious, you could have that communication where as to listen, this is where I want to go in future. Are you going with me or mm. or you, you stay behind? About you that. know what I mean? You see, someone like me, I always say like I'm trying to my next relationship. I want it to be my last relationship. Hmm? But now let's say <laughs> like when do I bring up this thing of? So, oh you boy, bring it up from when you guys are talking I'm not trying to as scare friends, him. Right? Yes, yeah. talking you know as when you're friends, right? That's when yeah. you lay down all your cards. That's Don't make that you, mistake. That's what it's Tell called. Tell them your you likes, want. your dislikes, Before your expectations, you your this, yeah. your that. So if they're scared already, they can go. And you. you don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste your time. Because if you want to play all nice and you know show your best side in the beginning, the true side is going to come out eventually. Mm -hmm. And your true side is you believe in marriage and yeah. living together and he does not. He just wants to just be there mm -hmm. and just live life, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. You guys are going to end up fighting for no reason and yeah, just play your Trash cards out in the beginning straight away. Once. Is it just me or is it, you know, this is like, it's going out of the topic but it's still tying into the topic where I've seen my past relationships. Okay, bro, she, even if she watches it's out it's all right. I've I mean, seen in my past relationships where yeah. whenever I get into a new relationship like new what <laughs> what <laughs> he gets is yeah. that, that needs to either be my husband or yeah. not but it tends to be like a trend with guys where stupid you just no, the so guys thing. that I've been with let yeah. me just no, say so she said the guys she's been I've with I've been yeah. with are no. just have you been with are just dumb yeah. I don't know how <laughs> to explain it because no. You have a woman who wants to give you everything, like mm -hmm. legit everything. I would throw down the cards for you, things that I you don't sure? do. Yeah, I would but do I'm for listening. you, <laughs> but that means so you they go and you, you self sabotage. You, know, you just sounds like you've got me. I'm a whole queen. Woo! Yes. And you leave me platinum. I think also <laughs> the the woman must know their. They, they, they value they yeah, work. I know. You know that's why we keep yeah. on, on keep if you're not supposed to be somewhere like leave bro like you set it out if, if you're not queening if he's not looking at you like a queen mm. you need to leave I want to know what goes into your mind like what what happens as a man for you, you want to, to cry no, no, I'll be honest I'll be honest <laughs> at times or rather if a if a guy doesn't want he doesn't want yeah. in fact mm. yeah. I, I don't know how else to say it yeah. if a guy doesn't want you can do whatever you think is right to keep him it's, it's, yeah. also maybe but you're if not a the guy wants 
if yeah. a guy wants you, yeah, really maybe wants, you're just not the one. And for also, him you may not be the one for him. Yeah, a guy could not be serious with you, and then three months down the line, he's getting married. married. Yes. Yeah. So with someone he, else. Yes. yes. That's and oh, you see, yes. that and means he, he was just he not. Really yeah, and he told you, I'm not yeah. ready. Three months, he's getting married. Okay. You see, that just Even goes to show, you. like, <laughs> yeah, it just goes to show that maybe you're just not the one. And again, you find these things are in the beginning, like you be honest from the get go. Like, listen, I'm interested in you. What do you want from me? Are you here yes. to have fun? Are you here to joke around? And if he doesn't give you a clear answer okay. from the get go, you know he's playing. Throw bruv. him in the bin. If he's like, Ugh, I'm not, in, I'm not sure. In I don't know. The bin. Listen, bruv, take and it also, and go. It goes both ways because you do get girls who, you know, your friend can be with someone and you're like, my friend, this girl is playing with me. Oh, yeah, no, there are girls who are Jesus. savages. Mm. Yeah. And then, Everybody. but then you know, like the guy won't see it because you know, girls. You guys yeah. know how to Let do me, it. Listen, as when a fellow girl, I'm going to say this. Yeah. Girls are master manipulators. I won't lie. We are sneaky. Listen, they can make you think you're in control. I won't lie. <laughs> but you're not. The decisions yeah. you think you're making, they made it and then... But you see, these are the see. games that are ruining the beauty of marriage exactly. because everyone's trying to be, be savage, savage. Exactly. that's why i say love is over oh, right now that. everyone is trying to prove a point everyone's yeah. trying to be independent yeah. everybody's trying to show that they can do it by themselves it. and it's lost its value now people just throw it around yeah mm. being savage is because now i love now, you right? will get you anything no. yeah you know so Some we need like we need to go anymore. back to making love humble Love is no longer humble. Everybody wants to show I heard, something. I heard that so Stop taking most love. being <laughs> the, the situation. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, like wow, love needs to regain its value. Yeah, man. Because if I can say I love you to this one and I love you to that one, I love you to that one, I love you to that one, it's, it means it's cheap nothing. Now. It's it cheap, bro. Yeah. Really, seriously. So, so we need to, we need to really work hard as hard as we possibly can to, as, well, if not for the whole world, then for ourselves. For ourselves. Yeah. You know to. Yeah. To make sure we have the right person that we can grow with and and just be mm-hmm. nice with them and, and, and live in love. Because like, like Rachel said, maybe in society, like if you look at the bigger picture, marriage may have lost its spark, but for her personally, it yeah. hasn't. So Same. if like, for, like, you keep that in you, you're like, listen, it may be bad out there, but me, I'm going to make yeah. it right. Yeah, yeah. and don't and let if, anybody try to, if you know, discourage you. make you. it right today, yeah. and then tomorrow, yeah. 10 people make it right. Yeah. At the end of the day, it'll be right. Exactly. I feel like we can all have that attitude. You know, even though we said yes, or some said no. I also agree with Rachel. It's, it starts with you. You can have that hope. You can have the, 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 the conviction that it's going to work with me. And it starts with me. Change starts with yourself. Mm-hmm. If you can make that change, you can inspire someone else to make that change. And your kids are going to have that mindset yeah. too. Yeah. So it starts with us. How you see it, how you choose to make it work. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. With that being said, don't forget to... Like, share, subscribe!